I have finally got my hands on on this beautiful piece, the red Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I almost lost my interest in making a video on this phone as it took close to 3 weeks since the launch to get this in my hands and I'm sure you would have already watched tons of videos. However, some of you guys did request me to post a video about this phone. So here is my first impression on the Smeen Monster, the Galaxy S23 Ultra Snapdragon all across the globe. First thing I noticed as soon as I unboxed this phone is that the red is not a real red. It's not so bright overwhelming red, it's subtle and with this matte finish it looks pretty good but if you're expecting the red red then you may be disappointed. The second thing I noticed and felt really good is the feel in my hands. The already boxier design got an even more boxier in a good way. The frame is thicker this time compared to the S22 Ultra which has the curved frame and this makes the phone feel more grippier to hold without a case. But hey, when it's in a case, it's as same as the S22 Ultra. Then comes this less curved display which is almost flat when the case is on because most cases will cover that thin curve around the display making it completely flat. I slapped the Spigen hybrid case and felt that there is no curved screen while using the swipe navigation gestures from the edge of the screen. By the way, if you are interested in this interesting Spigen hybrid case, you can check out the link in the description. I'm not very sure whether it is available in your region, do go ahead and check the link out. Now, the speaker grill, S Pen, side key and volume panels are in the same position as it was on the S22 Ultra. The weight is pretty well balanced and feels comfortable even though it's a pretty big phone. The camera modules are slightly more protruded and marginally bigger this time but to the naked eyes it looks pretty much same as the S22 Ultra at least when the case is on. I did snap a few images and they come out to be pretty good but more on that in the upcoming camera comparison between this and the S22 Ultra so stay tuned. Now I haven't really used the phone long enough to comment on the battery performance. Most reviewers are happy and talking highly about the battery life so I'm expecting this phone to do better than the S22 Ultra as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy is more power efficient. The real life battery test results are coming up very soon so if you are interested to know that be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. And while you do that if you own this phone do share your experience with the device and also mention the screen on time or the battery performance of your device in the comment section. Now I did play Call of Duty for a few minutes, the experience was pretty good as expected and I did not notice any heating issues as such. The phone is equipped with larger vapor chamber this time so in this area there should not be any issues. Target's in sight! Enemy down! Enemy in sight! Coming to the speakers, they sound a tad bit better than the last year's S22 Ultra with better bass and clarity. The display is the same as S22 Ultra so there is nothing that has changed in this area. By the way this is a 256GB 12GB variant and just in case if you are interested to know the system occupies almost 43GB of memory. The phone comes with One UI 5.1 based on Android 13 out of the box and this is eligible to get 4 years of major Android upgrades which means Android 17 is assured on this device and the security support until 2028 which is of course for 5 years from the date of launch. Now this is really insane and Samsung has been doing pretty good in rolling out the updates for the eligible devices every year. Okay now all in all the phone feels really good. I am definitely in love with this device. Like I mentioned earlier I will use this phone for a few more days maybe a week or two and come back with a review video. That's it that's the first impression of Galaxy S23 Ultra Red for you guys. If you already own this device don't forget to share your experiences in the comment section below and hope you have already a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed already go ahead subscribe and give this video a like. Thanks for watching my name is Salian signing off. Cheers bye bye.